Hello, and welcome back for another segment of Daily Bible Bites at Mount Olive Multicultural Community Church. Today, we are in chapters seven and eight of the book of Deuteronomy. When the Lord brings you into the promised land, he will destroy the following seven nations, the Hittites, the Girgashites, the Amorites, the Canaanites, the Perizzites, the Hivites, the Jebusites. When the Lord your God delivers them over to you, utterly wipe them out. Do not intermarry with them. That will surely result in your beginning to worship their gods. You must break down the heathen altars. He didn't choose you because you were a larger nation. You were the smallest. It was just because he loves you and because he kept his promise. The Lord is the faithful God who for a thousand generations keeps his promises and loves those who love him. But those who hate him shall be destroyed. Because of your obedience, the Lord will keep his contract which in his tender love he made with your fathers. And he will make you a fertile nation and give fertility to your ground and your animals. You will be blessed above all the nations and the Lord will take away all your sickness. You must destroy all the nations which the Lord delivers into your hands. Perhaps you will think, how can we ever conquer these nations? Just remember what the Lord did to Pharaoh. Well, the Lord will use the same might against the people who you fear. He will cast them out. He will not do it all at once, for if he did, the wild animals would multiply too quickly. Not one will be able to stand against you. Burn their idols and do not touch the silver or gold they are made of. Do not bring an idol into your home. It is a cursed thing. Eight, do remember how the Lord led you through the wilderness 40 years, humbling and testing you by letting you go hungry and then feeding you with manna. For all these 40 years, your clothes haven't grown old. You should realize that as a man punishes his son, the Lord punishes you to help you. Walk in his ways, for the Lord is bringing you into a good land where food is plentiful, a land where iron is common and stone and copper is abundant. Beware that you don't forget the God who led you through the great and terrible wilderness. He gave you water from the rock. He fed you with manna. He did it so that you would never feel that it was your own power and might that made you wealthy. Always remember that it is the Lord who gives you power to become rich. So I want to focus on um, chapter eight here. There is a lot packed into um, chapter seven, but there is a message that I did on the seven um the seven enemies of Israel. And so I will post that here so that you can look at the representations or the symbols that these Girgashites and the Amorites and, and the Ammonites and the Perizzites and the Hivites, that all of these represent the types of sin that we need to stay away from. But here I want to focus on eight. And he's talking about the 40 years in the wilderness. In the word of God, 40 is the number of testing. So in your times of testing, God was still there, but he left you of, to your own devices for a little bit. We have to remember that when we were in school, we were taught every day about something. And then at some point there was a test and the teacher would give us notes. He or she would give us um, different lectures and tell us about all of those areas. But when the time of testing came, that teacher had to stay silent. He or she may have walked up and down the aisles um, looking at us, and there were certain questions that they may answer, but for the most part, that teacher was silent and let us work the test on our own, knowing that he or she had already given us all the answers prior to that and given us everything that we needed to be able to solve these problems, questions, or essays for ourselves. So that's what God does during our times of testing. He's not left us at all, but he stays silent for a bit because he's already taught us everything we need during that time of testing to be able to pass it successfully. So don't ever think that your father God has left you. To the contrary, he left us with a word where he said, I will never leave you or forsake you. And I've left you a comforter. And so he's always there with us. But when he's silent, it's because he has already given us the answers to solve the problems, the essays or the questions that we have on whatever testing we're going through at any given time. Thank you so much for joining us for this segment of Daily Bible Bites. Join us again next time where we will tackle the next couple chapters in Deuteronomy and 
please, as always, join us on the other side at www.dltmoreministries.com for our weekly services, Bible studies, prayer meetings, and small groups that are started randomly. Thank you so much, and we love you in Jesus' name. Bye-bye.